One of the measures we use is how many ticks you pick up in a thousand meters of dragging. Most people try to avoid ticks on a nature walk, but Graham Hickling looks to attract the tiny pest. He's conducting research about tick species for the UT Institute of Agriculture and drags this cloth net through brush to see if any will attach. Hickling says we don't need to panic, but we should be aware of what ticks can do. Ticks are fascinating from a scientific point of view because they are this tiny little arthropod that lives at least a couple of years. And so here we've got this long-lived tick. Its gut is an ideal environment to transport around viruses and bacteria and protozoans. Most ticks live in the woods away from people and bite animals like deer, birds, and our pets. But sometimes ticks invade our world. And Hickling says we should learn to identify the most common species. Like little vampires, they want our blood. We have more than a dozen tick species in Tennessee. The most common are the American dog and the Lone Star tick. The American dog is associated with Rocky Mountain spotted fever. And now the Lone Star may be the source of a new troubling illness. 2012, we, we saw a really recent example of that with several farmers in Missouri getting sick with a, a virus that hadn't been seen before. Known as the Heartland virus, we've now seen one case in Tennessee and it's spread by the Lone Star, the most common tick in the volunteer state. Hickling says Lyme disease bacteria are rare in Tennessee ticks. Regardless, it is wise to stay away from these pests. Hickling recommends you keep grass mowed and create buffer zones of rocks, gravel, or wood chips to keep ticks away from your yard. And there are other steps to keep ticks off you. You, know, you can be a bit unfashionable and tuck your trouser legs into your socks. That's challenging on a hot day though. Uh, you can wear something like DEET or CUTA or uh, permethrin, so repellents that will keep ticks off you. These tiny creatures shouldn't be feared, but we should be careful if they attach to us. They can cause harm, so be watching out for them and avoiding them if possible. This is Chuck Denny reporting.